Hi, Michael. How are you? Hey, Nick. Good, thanks. You? Yes, I'm very well. I'm very well. Thanks for taking the time out to have a chat today. Yeah. Hey, you've got the shoes on the other the other foot today and you're sat on the yeah. different side of the, the questions. Yeah, Are you looking I forward think, to this? Not really, no. I think I've rescheduled it three times, <laughs> yeah. pushed it back, avoided it, knew it was coming eventually. But yeah, here we are. Well, I, I can say that I'm, I'm sure that a lot of our uh, clients are candidates and are looking forward to seeing it. But what I do know is that your peers are looking forward to seeing it after having you uh, yeah. put them through, through their paces over the last three months. Uh -huh. uh, but no, listen, thanks for taking some time out eventually and mm -hmm. scheduling me into your diary. Very <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, much told me to. <laughs> <laughs> but no, just I, I came to I check in and, and see how things are with you. Obviously, um, pretty much three months we've, we've been at home now. How have you found, found working from home over the last three months? Uh, I think there's, you know, it's every day is different. I think it's really good to try and get a routine going. Um, you'll see from my constant like motivational videos I'm out running and doing stuff um, and trying to keep healthy but I do find it like quite I think difficult not seeing people day to day in that kind of social interaction because that's the kind of yeah. person I am you know mm -hmm. but exercise has definitely been the the big thing you know what I mean yeah. I don't run all I don't run as much as I make out on LinkedIn well you've obviously got a number of us roped into the Audro 10k and, and half marathon in a couple of weeks yeah. um, which I'm looking forward to but like, yeah. I, I, I would never have thought that mm -hmm. I suppose twofold. I would never have thought that a, I would be doing a ten k. Mm -hmm. um, Are you doing? It? I oh. thought it was a black widow. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought that I'd be doing a ten k. Or then, <laughs> then actually, when I, when I have went out to try and get <laughs> some practice runs in, how hard it is, how mentally hard, because yeah. your legs kind of want to move, but your head saying. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. But no, you've got a few of us hooked in, so I, I know yeah. that the the good old bit competitiveness is is a uh, rife uh, amongst, amongst amongst you not me like I, this is going to take me about three and a half hours so uh, <laughs> it's it's been really it's been great to see I think your posts have been amazing and mm -hmm. and they have been been motivational and I think um it's been great to see you use running because like you say it has we've, we've all had um, ups and downs throughout the last yeah. three months um it's been I think fair to say pretty intense um for, for all of us but Hopefully we're we are starting to see a, a a light at the end of the tunnel with restrictions being lifted. Um, I suppose yeah. on that note, how how are things with your client base at the moment, Michael? Uh, so I think I mean the, the, the kind of a lot of the clients that I work with are large organisations. Um, so they've kind of had you know, they've been planning. They've all kind of switched to remote working very very quickly. Um, like even like picking up with you know like you and McNair and Royal London and stuff like they switched so quickly. Um, yeah. And they're such a big company that they are still hiring throughout this year. Mm -hmm. So I think, I mean, it depends on the sector we go to, depends on the organisation. Um, but I suppose we're lucky that we've kind of got that dynamic client base. But yeah, it's just so fluid. I mean, some weeks, I think it just depends when you ask me, things are picking up and then other weeks they kind of slow down a bit more. But I think it is really good to see companies picking up the remote working so quickly. And even like the remote onboarding, like, you know, like uh, the delivery couriers, like, you know, going and yeah. taking laptops on the first day and stuff. It's been so and, efficient, uh, hasn't it? I mean, I think that's yeah. what we had to work through um, in the early days of lockdown with our clients um, was that how do we actually get people on our networks and how yeah. do we actually get them sorted? And, and at the beginning, when um, restrictions were, when we were fully locked down and everything was so strict, it was, we weren't actually physically able to get a laptop yeah. to people. Um, but it has been very impressive to see how efficient, how slick onboarding mm -hmm. has been for um, the candidates that we've placed, contract and perm. Mm -hmm. um, but I suppose I think anyone and, and everyone and, and all of us as well that have, have been going through these videos have all touched on that this is the new norm and yeah. remote working is the, mm -hmm. the way forward. I mean, the guys, as you say, can like they can work remotely. You know, that trust is there. Mm -hmm. um, and it was like that chap Gary Walker was saying about that ready for remote book when I kind of chatted to him it's about the kind of yeah. outcomes you know yeah. and not 100%. being like you know KPI driven and stuff so this is what we're trying to achieve this week where are we and then kind of just doing check-ins with them and making sure you know they're on track and they're comfortable with what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I mean I think um, no doubt it will change the way the way in, in which we work I think we've been saying that mm -hmm. from from the start although do you envisage or, or do you think there'll be any other changes in the way in which we work out with the 
remote piece. Yeah, I think for me, I've, I've really enjoyed like the not commuting. Like I think mm-hmm. I say on a Sunday, you're not commuting on a Monday morning. You can go at a run. Like I'm hopefully going to do my first yoga class at some point this week. I'm avoiding it so far, but mm-hmm. you know, these are. You, you can. Ju- I think you just do more. I've never made so much soup and baked so much mm-hmm. and made like so many cookies and cakes and it really is a, a difference and of more mm-hmm. time. But I think the blended approach of having a couple of days or doing that two to three in the office, yeah, definitely for that kind of like my mental sanity anyway, uh-huh. um, and interaction. Yeah. You know? It's just about the balance, I think, and and having that health healthy balance. Mm-hmm. Um, I think when when you had in, interviewed me a few weeks ago, I, I had said that although work's been very busy for me, I have been enjoying this slower pace of yeah. of life. Um, and and it will change things things for me. So I think it is just about about finding the balance. I think the points that Gary made, um, in regards to large scale meetings, there's nothing worse being on of it. Like I, we we've been. Mm-hmm. I would like to think early adapters of video within recruitment. Um, we've been using using video technologies externally and internally for for many years. Um, mm-hmm. But there is nothing worse being on a Zoom call with twenty five people all trying to talk at the same time. Yeah. Like ah, uh-huh. like that's yeah, like dinner time in my house. It's not fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So during the last couple of months, have you learned any new skills, Michael? Any new skills? So I've become a professional painter. Um. So I have. Uh, Does Lucy agree with this? I mean, I think I've been pretty awesome at it, but there has been someone <laughs> going around. All I can see is your BIT splashes background. <laughs> so, so now yeah. that restrictions um, are starting to lift, um, yeah. where's the first place that you, you're going to go? So my heart says my nephews, <laughs> uh, and my mind saying the cut saying get to the pub and get a pint with a friend. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I've seen my, my nephews, like, I went and they dropped off water balloons for them one day and it was really sunny. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my sisters, and I was just like, kind of like, you know, pass them over and all that. Um, and I wasn't expecting them to fight them off and be like, you know, Noah, Jacob, um, Zach, you know, don't come near me, you can't come for a hug. Not even, a, one one foot was, one foot step was made, Nick. They didn't come near me, they obviously just learned. Do uh, you know, I, I do think that as soon as they can climb and your nephews can use you as a climbing frame again and they'll be all over you. <laughs> I love, I'm the rough and tumble one that gets them like, my sisters always say like, you're getting them hyper. And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke over there. Do you know, you that's know? Um, my, um, like my sisters do that and that's a, a, an aunt or an uncle's prerogative. But do you know yeah. what? They'll get you back. They will get uh, you back. When it be, when it's your and Lucy's turn, they'll, they'll get you back for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But cool, well, thank you so much for your time. How did it feel sitting on the, the answer side this week? Uh, I mean, I think once you get into it, it's fine. Um, hopefully I've not pestered too many people with, with my running videos and my my um, yeah. my different yeah. sites within Sterling. I've still got a couple more to show them, so I might try and get it over the next couple of weeks. And uh, I look forward to share, sharing the results of our, our charity run the 10th of July with everyone. You Eat. can push, push your results up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but no, right, thanks very thank much for doing so it. Much. Appreciate it. See you soon.